Hi guys, welcome to another video clip of our Mr. Lopez classes.com. Today we are going to talk about the low oil pressure. What happens if uh, the gauge of oil pressure is showing low oil pressure? Okay, to analyze the low oil pressure, we are going to follow the path of the oil in a typical marine diesel engine quickly. The oil starts in the bottom, in the oil pan, the strainer of the oil pump is submerged in the oil pan, suction the oil, and the oil start to pass through small cavities in the block and the head. You remember that video, exactly the oil goes out, and uh, immediately the oil goes out through those cavities, reach the bearings, reach the bearings, the bearings of the crankshaft. And this is the point where the pressure is maximum. It's an, it's an, it's a, a little film of oil between the plane bearings and the crankshaft. And this is the pressure, the pressure created here, here on the plane bearings and the crankshaft. This is the pressure that you have in the oil pressure uh, gauge. Of course, if the oil pressure decreases, if the needle of the oil pressure shows low oil pressure, this is an indication that uh, the soft metal in the plane bearings is gone or is wear. But later we are going to analyze that. We are going to continue with the path of oil. The oil pass the, uh, the crankshaft, the oil continue up and lubricate the bearings of the camshaft. After that, of course, the oil pass through the uh, oil filter and the oil goes over there on top and lubricate the rocker arms. And uh, immediately the rocker arms are lubricated like this. The oil drops for gravity into the oil pan. And the cycle starts again because the pump is pumping. Okay, when the, when the oil pressure decreases, normally the people say, oh, this is the level of oil, check the level of oil. All right, check the level of oil, but this is not critical if for example, if you remove the dipstick and you see the, the mark a little lower, your engine doesn't have a low oil pressure because the level is low. Okay, you can recover the level of oil and the low oil pressure continue on the gauge. Some people say, no, this is the oil pump. Okay, the oil pump is a, is a vital component in the lubrication system. Uh, the strainer of uh, the oil pump is submerged in the oil pan and uh, of course, if you have too much play in the, in, the, in the gears of the oil pump, probably you have a low oil pressure in the system. But really, really, the secret is here uh, in the film of oil between the bearings and the crankshaft and also in the plane bearings of the camshaft. Those are the points where the pressure is maximum. This is why if you have low oil pressure, you need to pay attention immediately. If you have low oil pressure, probably you have another check engine code activated. It's a check engine related uh, with the knock sensor because you have too much play between the crankshaft and the bearings. And uh, you need to analyze the oil immediately. You need to take a sample of oil, send the oil to the laboratory, and uh, probably with my poster, check what happened. What happened if you have a high content of lead, high content of uh, zinc, high content of aluminum, all right, you need to analyze what is the source of, a, of a, those metals. Uh, yes, check the oil sample, analyze the oil sample, uh, verify if you have a knock sensor activated, uh, verify the color of the oil, if the oil is emulsified with water. Remember that uh, if the oil is emulsified with water, there are two possibilities, with the salt water or uh, with coolant. And in other episodes, we are going to analyze that situation. Low oil pressure is, is critical. If the oil pressure decreases, uh, it's because uh, there are too much play between the parts and uh, probably start the friction between metallic parts. If the friction starts, uh, the temperature increases and suddenly you have a, a, a broke parts. Uh, metal disperses from the crankshaft and suddenly the crankshaft is broken or a piston. Yeah. There are different possibilities for, uh, for uh, wear on the metals because the lubrication is no good. In other words, when you have the oil pressure low in your engine, you need to stop immediately the engine, uh, check 
the level of the of the oil, check the color of the oil, analyze if the, the oil is uh, is milky, is mixed with water, take a sample of oil, send the oil to the laboratory to analyze, and analyze the result and verify what type of metal dispersed on the oil is, and uh, what is the source of that metal. Is from the crankshaft, is from the babbit, from the, the, the bearings, uh, or is aluminum, or what, what element, what uh, element is the high content in aluminum, in iron, in nickel, and uh, according with this, you, can, you, you have a good prediction, where is the problem in my engine.